Okay, it works? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, so um, the idea was to uh, to do a review, as just like like we did uh, last year, um, of uh, of uh, what happened uh, within the AI for Lamb community uh, this year. Uh, I'm sorry, some of the slides may be redundant if you attended the the virtual event in December. But I tried to to do to add things that are new anyway. Um, so uh, just a, a quick recap uh, of um, what, uh, how, how AI for Lam is, is currently working. So as you know, uh, we have a small group of, uh, of people who are the, the secretariat. Uh, we are meeting monthly uh, to organize things for, for the community. Uh, um, we are also have a weekly co-chairs meetings, uh, Neil, Neil Fitzgerald and, and myself. Uh, I just wanted to mention that uh, we have uh, recently uh, been welcoming two new members to the Secretariat um, because uh, I left the, the National Library of France, so Céline Leclerc, uh, to cover the official representation of this institution. And Peter Leonard just joined uh, Stanford and so is also uh, now uh, part of the Secretariat members. And um, and of course I'm I'm still there. So we also upscale upscaling from the institutional point of view since uh, my institution is also uh, joining and we are and we are considering uh, also more um, more activity uh, this year uh, on that front. And of course uh, we also now have uh, some help uh, to organize <coughs> for the community. Uh, we, uh, through the, the British Library and more specifically Deirdre Sullivan, who is uh, acting as our communication officer. If people would like to to please uh, shut down their, their micro microphones if they're not speaking, that would be very helpful. Thank you. Um, I also wanted to uh, to remind you that uh, we have a very efficient uh, council uh, council now within the AI forum with uh, people who are monthly meeting uh, quarterly, and uh, the council has been really instrumental this year in um, brainstorming about what's important for for this community. Uh, I will come back to that in a few minutes and um, also organizing the, the virtual events that we had uh, in December. Uh, so many thanks to, to everybody in the council for contributing uh, to, this, to this organization. Uh, I think we are going to go back to working groups and chapters activity later and probably have some short reports uh, from some of the groups. Uh, so I'm going to be very quick here just to mention that uh, we have uh, now uh, six uh, active groups. Uh, one is uh, has been uh, retiring already last year. Uh, a few numbers. Uh, so if you look at the community in terms of numbers and uh, how we've been uh, increasing our activity. So on, on this slide, you have uh, the numbers that we've been following uh, since the, the creation of the, of the community. Uh, with the, in brackets, you have the numbers from last year. And uh, you can see that uh, the overall activity uh, is growing. Uh, we have uh, more people on Slack and on, on, the, on the Google group list. Uh, we have a great number of, of conversations. Uh, regular community calls, even if we have uh, more or less institutionalized the summer break and uh, the December uh, break. Um, and um, what we have also uh, observed is that uh, we have um, an important number of lightning talks, but maybe just a little less uh, attendance on the community calls. So what we presented earlier with the, this idea of having more of a conversation and uh, exchange between people, if, even if they are not necessarily experts, uh, is a new format uh, that we would like to try next month uh, to see if uh, it revives maybe a little uh, the, the community calls or at least uh, provides a different uh, way uh, of sharing uh, among, the, among the community. 
Um, I would like also to um, to remind you that uh, we have the registry of uh, projects and data sets uh, on the on the web page. Uh, the registry has uh, increased since the previous year. Uh, we had some uh, publicity uh, uh, at the beginning of of, uh, of the year, and and we did have some feedback. So if you want to um, to add things to the registry. Uh, you can do it. There is a form on the on the website that you can use uh, to add your project or your data set uh, if you want to um, to make the to make this um, to make this bigger. And uh, I also wanted to mention that uh, we are we have been uh, thanks to the help of Ingrid Mason from the Australian New Zealand chapter, we've been able to process. Um, most of the video uh, content of the past community calls, uh, the lightning talk presentations uh, has individual videos uh, that you can replay on the on the YouTube channel now. Uh, about the website, so here you can find the, the direct link. Uh, we tried to have a little more activity on the website this year, um, so it would be very helpful to know if you have noticed that, um, of course, and if you have maybe ideas on how we can also uh, make it a bit a, a bit more uh, lively. So in the news section, you can see some blog posts that we've been uh, creating um, to um, to uh, to show the activity of the different uh, working groups. So if you are involved in some uh, AFLM related activity and you would like to post something, you can just reach out um, to us and uh, and we can arrange it. Uh, the chapters have also their individual uh, corners on the website, and they can uh, use it uh, to uh, post their own material and, and promote their activity. Uh, speaking about that, if you look at the um, statistics of last year on the website, and um, obviously they are in uh, Norwegian, so I'm not sure I can translate everything. Um, but uh, basically, if you look at the country uh, view, uh, you can see that we have a very strong um, activity in French speaking countries. Uh, so that's probably related to uh, the creation of the French speaking chapter um, and also global overall in increasing activity in the United States, United Kingdom and, and Norway, which are uh, active countries in the in our in our community, uh, and uh, if you look also at the at, at uh, the trends on the year, uh, you can uh, clearly see the the effect of the virtual event uh, in uh, in December. So about that, about the virtual event, also some figures. Um, we had uh, for the what we called the opening conference, which was uh, a slot with some uh, longer presentations that we have uh, organized uh, and um, that were uh, hopefully at a time where most uh, time zone in the world could attend. Uh, we had 137 registrations for this part of the conference and uh, 64 people attended the, the rate. Uh, of uh, no shows is quite usual for virtual events, so it's it's a quite good attendance, and it also demonstrates that um, the virtual event reached out people uh, beyond the usual suspects, suspects who attend the the community calls. Um, and then next to this opening conference, and I I think we have recorded the opening conference, and we will probably share. Uh, the recordings um, in the in the near future, if the the speakers allow it. Um, regarding the workshops and hands-on sessions, so what we really wanted for this uh, virtual event uh, was to have smaller sessions where we could have actual discussions. So some of the sessions were capped uh, in number, like the one on the applying AI in a smaller research library, because we really wanted to have uh, group discussions. Uh, some of these sessions were more hands-on, and um, and we had uh, quite a good uh, good attendance uh, overall on on all these uh, these sessions. So um, 
you can uh, see the program and the descriptions uh, on, on the page on the website. And I think we will probably post the, the recordings uh, there as well. So here again, if you have some feedback, even if you want to put now some feedback in the chat uh, about the virtual events, did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Uh, did you have a chance to attend or not? Uh, especially the, the smaller um, sessions, discussion sessions. Uh, please share with us uh, either here in the chat or in the agenda of today's call uh, or in the survey. Uh, again, uh, the survey is very simple. It's for questions and you can just type in whatever you, you see fit. So if you want to provide feedback on the virtual events, it would be very helpful for us uh, to know if we are uh, providing adequate content for, for the community. Uh, so uh, back on um, the, how how can you contribute uh, to to the community? So on these slides, uh, the link to the slides are in is in the in the agenda for today. So this slide is is a recap of uh, everything you can uh, contribute to. Uh, of course, uh, the Google uh, mailing list, uh, the drive where you can find a lot of resources, uh, the chat. Uh, the um, the check out chat on Slack, the registry. Uh, if you have ideas, you would like to speak or present something in a community call, uh, you can definitely uh, propose uh, also uh, your lightning talks or your demonstrations. Uh, as you understand, we are willing to have more discussions in the community calls in the future. So maybe something in a, a little different format. So you're very welcome to contribute to that. Um, and also uh, to provide feedback on whatever content uh, is provided by the, the working groups. Uh, here you have the link to the review of GLAM training resources that was provided by the teaching and learning uh, working group. Um, if you want to propose a working group or a chapter, or a chapter uh, you can also uh, do so. And uh, we still hope we will meet physically uh, in 2023. Uh, hopefully, and uh, so stay tuned for, for any announcement uh, on that matter. So you have the link for, for the survey here. You can just take a few minutes uh, right now or right after the call to, to fill it. That would be uh, really nice. And that's about uh, everything for me. And uh, I'm probably hungry.